Good afternoon. It is 4.14 on Tuesday afternoon, early evening, whatever. Uh, uh, I turned, oh, he did turn my heat down. So, anybody watching, how you doing? How's your week been thus far? Today was nuts, man. I am so tired. I got about five hours sleep, I think, last night. I got up at seven o'clock and I literally just rolled out of bed and my boss texts me, can you be ready for 740? Yep. <laughs> I mean, I usually am anyway. It, it does not, I mean, I don't, it's not like I have to do my hair or my makeup or anything. I literally roll out of bed, throw on some scrubs and brush my teeth, have a coffee and off we go. But, uh, I was like, yeah, 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 yeah. It was just, it was just harder this morning because now it's expected that I be ready at 22. So that's fine. Change the order that I did things a little bit. Like usually I'll get up get dressed, wash my face, wake up, go downstairs and have a coffee and a cigarette and then come back upstairs and brush my teeth and go back downstairs for another coffee because then you got to get rid of the fucking toothpaste taste. I just switched it up. I, I brushed my teeth before I went downstairs. That way if my boss did show up, I at least had my teeth brushed. Because, yeah, I, I've had that happen before where I slept in and I had to go to work without brushing my teeth. And <laughs> Especially if you're in a house where you have to wear a mask. And it's like, oh, that's bad. That's bad. <laughs> so that's fine. I sat in, I got two coffees in. I was very happy. And, man, what a day. My boss picks me up. My coworker, she's already got my coworker. Cool. So there's this lady that we don't clean for her, but she, she's hard to explain. She's like a middleman. So she's not a property owner. But she, I don't know. She, she, she gives us some business anyway, but she's a middleman. She doesn't have any power. So when she sends us to rental houses or apartments, they're not like she doesn't, she's not the property owner. She's not the building manager. She's none of that. Right. I don't get it, but she's a real pain in the ass. Um, nothing ever goes smoothly when it's a job that's involving her. It, it never goes according to plan ever. The times are messed up. We're given the improper codes. The contact information is incorrect. So if we need to get a hold of the person, we can't. You know, there's been problems with payment. And so, and it's not this lady. It's the lady who we're cleaning for that she, yeah, it's a whole thing. So we had this job from her this morning, first thing this morning. And my boss is like, yeah, so it's just downtown here. Like, you know, my boss is like, so we got to be there for eight. We usually do this other company, um, like around eight 30, something like that. And, uh, on Tuesdays, no, we usually do them first. So we were doing them later today, I guess. Um, but we get there and it's a whole shit show, right? Like the door, like we had a code to get through the doors, but then the doors that go to the apartments is a weird building was locked and we're like, oh, awesome. So we call this girl and she's like, well, you know, the building guy is not there until eight o'clock. I'm like, but it's, it's 10 to like, I don't know when I have to go to work, like when I had to 
leave my house and go to a physical workplace. I was there a half hour before my shift. Every time. Minimum. I, I don't like getting to work and jumping right in. I want to sit and have a coffee and have a cigarette. <laughs> I need to prepare. <laughs> Put my game face on. <laughs> like, alright. He showed up, I don't know, a few minutes after 8 anyway. I'm like, Whatever. So, that's fine. We finished that up. And I thought we were heading to the company that we normally do on Tuesday mornings. We were talking about it. Now, let me just tell you, okay, this company has not paid for services rendered since, like, April last year. Like nine, ten months. Nothing. Not a partial payment. Not a sit and spin. Not a go fuck yourself. Nothing. And every time my boss talks to the lady, she's like, oh, because this company got bought out by an American company. Okay. And since this American company bought it out, we have not been paid. And she keeps saying, oh, well, give me the information and I'll fix it and la, 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 I'll get on them, la, 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 la. Nine, ten months, okay. <laughs> so we're talking about it in the van today. And I've told her before, you're insane. You're insane to keep cleaning. You're insane. You're working for free. My coworker and I are working for free. Like, <laughs> No. I said, you need to either look into small claims court, and if it's not worth that, look into putting them into collections. Fuck them. Fuck them. <laughs> God damn it. Pay your fucking bill. <laughs> it's a great big Jesus company. It's not like they can't afford it. Come the fuck on, man. I'm trying to screw the little guy here. That, that, that shit pisses me off. It pisses me off so bad. So... All of a sudden, we end up at a, as, at a residence, right? And I'm like, we didn't go to the business. I didn't say nothing. <laughs> Good for you. Good for you, girl. I was so proud of my boss. So we carry on about our day. It's a busy day. My arms and my legs are so tired. And coming home, she says to me <laughs> that she had called, or yeah, I guess she called because she can't text them. She had called this business and was like, this is what's up. Okay. We're not coming today. We're not cleaning for you. You owe us 10 months, <laughs> like nine, 10 months. Oh, she says, that's too bad. And I was like, yeah, that's too bad. We're not coming. We're not coming. We're not cleaning. We're not doing nothing for you until your bill is paid in full. Sorry. Sorry, not sorry. And she was like, oh, I'll, I'll get a hold of them right away and, and you'll have payment by the end of the week. Whatever, but we're not coming on Tuesday if that bill ain't paid in full. And I thought, really, by the end of the week? Because keep in mind, this is like early in the morning. Okay, this is like fucking 8 o'clock, 8.30 in the morning. Probably 9 o'clock at the latest, okay? You're telling me you can't get that shit sorted by the end of the fucking day? Like, you have all the bank information. Just transfer the fucking money. <laughs> Give me my money! <laughs> Oh, damn it. It's like, you need to go, you need to go to a lawyer and have him do up a letter. So I'm telling my boss, you need to go to a lawyer and have him do up a letter saying that if payment is not done in full for the nine, 10 months of services rendered, 
by such and such day, either they're doing the small claims court or be forewarned, you will be going into collection. Like, <laughs> fuck off. Who the fuck are you? Like, God damn it. <laughs> Who works for free? Nobody. Nobody works for free. Are you retarded? Like, God damn it. <laughs> I can't think of another person living, breathing on this planet that would let anybody get away with not paying their bill for 10 months. My boss is too nice. Nope, that would not fly with me at all. Mm -mm, no, sir. You, you would get maybe, maybe three months. If we had a really good working business relationship, you might get three months grace out of me. <laughs> and then you're paying your fucking money. <laughs> you can muck around with a lot of things. Do not fuck with my kids. Do not fuck with my money. <laughs> oh, boy. My boss is too nice. So, Monkey and I are going to do a movie night tonight. I have no idea what we're going to watch. He says he wants to do a movie night. And I says, okay, well... You think about it. Let me know what movie you want to watch. And then the movie night comes. I turned my car off. The movie night comes. And he has no idea what he wants to watch. So then I'm scrambling for something that's, you know, not over the top. That I think he might like, right? And I'm a movie buff. I've seen thousands and about thousands of movies. When it comes down to it, do you think I can think of a single thing? I can't think of nothing. So I end up on the Google. <laughs> Google, make up my mind for me. <laughs> so I said to him, when I got home today, you, 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 get on the Google. <laughs> Find a movie. Something that doesn't have that fucking guy from Elf. <sighs> and that's pretty much my criteria. I cannot stand that guy. <laughs> so, I said, that is your job. You, you figure that out. I said, I'm going to go grab a coffee. And I'm going to vlog for a little bit. And uh, come home and make burgers and stuff. I got to get Boo Boo at 7, I think. 6 or 7, I can't remember. Uh, you know, 7, I think. And, uh, you know, we'll, we'll carry on our night from there. But I also actually brought my new camera down that I bought specifically for doing my vlogs to see what it was like on my dashboard and I do need something to sit it on it's too low that's fine get my uh stuff paid for this portion of the month and then we'll go from there if I can grab something great Oh my goodness. But yeah, it, it, it's, it'll it sit fine up above my steering wheel here, but I need a, something to stick it on to raise it up a little bit. Otherwise, you just kind of see <laughs> here, <laughs> which is fine by me, but. So, oh my God, my arms are so tired. We did a house today. Oh my God. Oh, 
I wish I could show. I hope my boss remembers to send me the video. She took a video. <laughs> we walked into this house. Okay. I've never seen a bathroom like this in my life. I called everybody in. <laughs> I walked into this bathroom. My coworker is sweeping. And I was like, there was an entrance into a shower here. And then a tub. And then an entrance over here. And I thought, no. It doesn't wrap around. Like, it's really. Yep, it did. I walked inside and I was like, oh my God. <laughs> like, calling my coworker, come here, come here, come here. <laughs> she's like, what? <laughs> like, walk through here. <laughs> and she's like, I know. Like, it was, you could, you could easily fit four people in the shower. It's fucking huge. And it had two entrances. <laughs> fucking, and then the wall, like the wall, an entrance, an entrance. And in between the two entrances was the biggest fucking soaker tug up, tub I've ever seen in my life. Oh my God. I was like, yeah, this is a bathroom I could get behind. <laughs> However, and we took a video of it, so... Like, my boss comes in. We're freaking out. My boss comes in. It's just, what the hell is wrong with you people? I was like, look. <laughs> so my coworker is standing inside the shower, poking her head around the one wall. She's like, hang on a second. And she runs over the other way and pokes her head. <laughs> my boss is like, no. It's like, yep. <laughs> she gets her phone out. She's like, uh, we're, we're videoing. She's like, to my coworker, do that again. <laughs> oh yeah it was a good time <laughs> and then that guy he was a doctor <laughs> he had the audacity I could not believe the balls of this guy <clears throat> I guess he didn't pay while we were there I, I didn't stick around for that conversation. I, I I did my job and I fucking left. I went out and had a smoke. I was dying. That was a lot of work. But she tells us when we get to our second last house of the day today that he had texted her like just then um, about price, right? And my boss was like, well, whatever, whatever she said, I, it's none of my business. And he started complaining. He was like, what? But your website says $80. And my boss is like, ah, uh, no. What my website says <laughs> is between 85 and 90 for a average sized home right three bedroom two bathroom that kind of deal you know two floors <laughs> you know <sighs> your house is not average <laughs> I mean, <laughs> a wrap around fucking shower you can a shower that you could easily fit four or five people in. Are you like you, there? Ain't nothing fucking average about your house, my dude. <laughs> and fucking three full bathrooms, full bathrooms, three. Huh? Like <laughs> the master with the wraparound fucking shower, the kids' bathroom, and then another full bathroom downstairs in the basement. Like, there is nothing average about your house, my friend. Absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing. Get out of here. <laughs> and we were there for like an, like an hour and a half. An hour and a half. And you think you're going to pay 80 bucks? $80 is what... An average, like a like a like a bungalow would pay if we're there for half an hour. <laughs> I 
this guy's this guy's out on and uh, living out on the lake Like, the houses that we clean out there are houses with, like, five bathrooms. Four full bathrooms and a powder room. One house we do has five full bathrooms and a powder room. I never make it to the kitchen in that house. Fuck me. <laughs> like, come on, man. And my boss was livid. <laughs> I said to her, well, that's, that, that's, that's how people with money keep their money. Like, they just don't fucking pay for nothing. Like, they think they can barter down. It's like, you know, well, like, how privileged are you to think that my time is worth less than minimum wage? How privileged are you to think that the house that you're living in is an average fucking house come to my house my house is an average house okay my house is a three bedroom one bathroom <laughs> with a tub and shower that I installed well me and my buddy installed like it With the cheapest surround I could find at fucking home hardware. <laughs> I mean, the scrub and the town match. I'm happy. Whatever the fuck. But I mean, I mean, come on, man. I don't have no wraparound shower I could fit five fucking people in. I had to wash this shower in parts. <laughs> and it was those itty bitty little fucking tiles with all the grout and shit in between. Fuck. You want to pay 80 bucks? How about suck my dick? <laughs> if I had one, oh my lord. Yes, that is what you'd be doing, bud. <laughs> God damn it. I could not believe that. Fuck, no. <laughs> Get out of here. Uh, whatever, my dude. You go ahead. You call Molly Maid. See what the fuck they would charge you to fucking clean that house. God damn it. Give your head a shake. <laughs> so mad. I wasn't mad. I kind of thought it was funny. But she was like, yeah. <laughs> my boss was not happy. <laughs> <laughs> good times good times and she was really excited at the end of the day today because uh, she finally got somebody applying she's had an ad out for a little bit for a third like a fourth well a third full timer because they've been busting their ass. I feel so bad. I told her today, like, I mean, I told her when I went down to part time, if you guys are getting slammed, I'll do a third day. I have like, I'll do a third day. I just know that I can't get through a five day work. Week. I can't do it. I can't do it. I, I was just, yeah. I mean, I have days. Well, today was one of them. Where I had to literally drag my ass out of bed. And yes, I only got about five hours sleep, but I mean, once in a blue moon that happens, it's fine. But I mean, it's just like, like, I, I have to human, really. I have, like, now today, as I got up and I got going off of, and I feel fine now, but I've had days where, I mean, I just, I just can't get out of bed. I can't. I sit there and I panic and I cry. And I'm just a fucking mess. And I just have to lay there and, and, and go through it until it passes. Because, you know, and then I'll come downstairs at like, you know, 11 o'clock, 1130 or something like that. And check on Monkey and make sure he's online. And 
make sure he's eaten and that he's got his vitamin and whatever and you know try and try and carry on my day as best I can with what I need to do at home because just because I'm home doesn't mean there isn't a fuck ton of shit I got to be doing so you know <coughs> errands that need to be run calls that need to be made like whatever you know so I said you know I know I know I can't reliably be full-time I know I can't I could go full-time fine for for weeks and be absolutely fine and then have a few days where I'm just like nope it's it's my brain's like fuck you bitch you ain't getting out of bed no we ain't we ain't doing that what we're not gonna do is be productive <laughs> you know so I said you know I, I, I think that would do you as a company as well as myself more harm than good than if I just stay on part time for now and she was like nope she goes that's like we talked about it when I when I went down to part time But I said, you know, I, I, I don't want to leave you guys in a hard way. I mean, I feel like such a dick. Um, put me on a third day. Like, until you, you have a full timer, put me on a third day. If I have to really suck it up, I will. Like, I, you know, if I can't, I can't. Like, I mean, but I mean, I, I will always, I will always try my damnedest. Like, I mean... You know, it's just, I know I'm not reliable right now. Like, I know that. You know, and I said, you know, I mean, if it comes down to it, you have to let me go. Like, I, I get it. Business is business. Like, it's fine. You know, I said, if you can't afford three full-timers and a part-timer, like, I get it. And she goes, no, it's ideal. I want three full-timers and a part-timer because if somebody needs, like, she wants to take holidays, I think it was in April, um, then we still have, you know, three people. You know, my coworker takes every third Friday off or something like that. So then we would still have three people, right? So you've always got a backup. And I was like, okay. She goes, yeah, like, don't, like, she is, we have a better understanding than we did when I first started. We, we, but I think a lot of it was me too, right? Like, I'm just horrible to myself. But she said, you know, like, no, like, you are absolutely fine. Like, it's fine. Don't, don't worry about it. Like, I didn't know when I went down to part-time that it would take me fucking forever to get any kind of counseling. Like, I, I've been to one session, and the counselor that I went to see was fucking retiring and is no longer counseling. And then when I went for my second one in January, they wouldn't fucking let me in. Well, I had to cancel the one in January because we had lockdown again, or whatever the fuck that was. And then in February, earlier this month... Well, I guess we're in March now, aren't we? So, yeah, in February, I went for my appointment. They told me I couldn't get in with an N95 mask. Like, fuck off. I can't wear that shit. Like, so I had, I, I canceled that appointment. It's like, like I, so I haven't gotten any counseling. <laughs> <sighs> but if I hadn't done that, I know I would have been fired. I know I would have been. I was fucking up. I My concentration wasn't there. Like, I would have either been fired or I would have quit. Like, it would have just been like, fucking, I'm done. Sorry. And, you know, I would have, I would have fucked up that relationship. So, you know, there would have been no, um, reference there would have been nothing right so she was like no I get it it's fine you're fine like stop Shh. <laughs> okay <laughs> like she knows if she calls me like boom I'm there it's fine I mean unless I'm literally in the middle of a breakdown <laughs> like yeah no it's fine I'm there I've told her I don't make plans during the week I, I have shit that I do around the house always and you know 
phone calls and errands and stuff. Like, I keep myself busy. Um, but, like, I'm not out of town. I'm not, you know, I'm never far. Um, if you need me, just let me know. Excuse me. Like, it's fine. So. <clears throat> oh, I'm getting all stuffed up. My, my neck feels much better. My throat feels much better today. I still need to take... I'm going to try and hold off taking any more ibuprofen. I haven't taken any today. I think I took my fucking body weight in it last night. God, that was that, that hurt so bad. Um, But I'm going to take some before I go to bed tonight. And then tomorrow night, I have kickboxing again. And God damn it, I am making it through that fucking class if it kills me. I don't care. I'm going to take two before I go to about an hour. Maybe half an hour. Before I go to kickboxing tomorrow night. And uh, I filled up my bottle that I keep in my purse. <clears throat> Tylenol and ibuprofen. So that if I need to, during class, I can take a Tylenol. You don't want to take too much ibuprofen. Not good for your tummy. Says the one who will take three if need be. I don't care. <laughs> it, it hurts. Make it better. Three will do. <laughs> so hopefully that goes better tomorrow night. I just love that class so much. I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do for dinner tonight. I'm gonna do burgers and stuff for the kids. I have no idea what the hell I'm gonna eat. <sighs> to see if I have enough change in my little coffee thing here to maybe get yeah, get some noodles or something. Yeah, so that was about it for today. It was interesting. It was interesting. <laughs> I got to remind my boss to send me that video because I want to send that to my boyfriend. He will absolutely shit his pants when he sees the shower. Holy crap. Yeah, I've never seen anything like it before in my life. <laughs> I really hope to never see it again. I would be quite happy if that dude never calls us again. Holy crap. <laughs> $80. So, fuck, get out of here. <laughs> Anywho, I'm going to jump. I got some stuff I got to do. And we're just past the 30 minute mark. So anybody who happens to be watching, thank you. I appreciate you. Take care of yourself. And we'll talk later.